You are the leader and yet you're afraid to lead. You are terrified that you are gonna do something or say something that takes this entire ship down and you're gonna be called a liar. And so you're wishy-washy. And if you can't be that leader, not only will you not make your dreams happen, you will never live up to your full potential. I'm sure we've all seen the flock of geese flying on the poster with leadership, how hard it is to be the first bird because you do 40% of the work or whatever it is. Or we've seen the snow dogs where the first dog is the one out front breaking new ground. And so we say leaders are the ones out in front. Leaders are the ones who are breaking the new ground. That is what leadership is. And yet what those memes don't take into account is how lonely it is, how you have no idea what you're doing most of the time how you have to trust your gut. And so if you don't have that North Star, that vision, that purpose, if you don't know within yourself what it is that you are trying to do, you will never be the leader that you need to be. You'll fail your staff because you won't build the culture, you won't build the dynamic, the systems that allows them to do what it is that they do amazingly. Because without that strong leadership, where are you going? And so we have to start by admitting that this is really hard. Like being a leader is really hard. There is no playbook, there is no manual, you can't copy everyone else because you are 100% unique. And so you can't go out and just copy what other people are doing. I bought these leadership books from Harvard Business Review and I cracked them open and I start to look through them. And the one thing that I found the most interesting from a manager from the Harvard Business Review Manager's Handbook was this. When you're a staff member, you have a lot of criticism for your manager. You think, as soon as I'm a leader, as soon as I'm a manager, I'm gonna have more control. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get the opportunity to have people do things my way. I'm gonna be able to set the tone. And yet, for all of us who lead a team, for all of us who are managers, for all of us who have transitioned from working for someone to having people work for us, we realize we have no control. Right? Like we, we, we have no control and the people are not there to serve us. We are now suddenly there to serve them. And guess what? I can say show up at 7 a.m. But if they don't want to show up at 7 a.m., they won't. I can say be prepared for the pitch. If they don't want to be prepared for the pitch, they won't. People do what they want or they say one thing and do another or they're lazy or they're busy and stressed, or they're worried about, you know, making the mortgage payment and the fact that their kid is sick. Like, people are people. And so as a manager and as a leader, you have almost no control. And so if you are not resolute, if you are not super focused and confident about the very thing that you want to create, then it is very, very hard to build a team, to build the processes, to build the mindset, to build the company. If you aren't crystal clear on what it is that you want to accomplish, not how you'll go about it, not the what at the end of the day, but crystal clear on the very purpose, the very drive, the very outcome that you're looking for, then I'd say it's impossible to build any great company. And so this leadership thing actually starts with you. It starts with your confidence in your own ideas. It starts with not judging why it is you do things or why it is you want the things that you want. It is understanding and being close to the customer because you know the value. You know what it is that the customer wants and desires. You know at the end of the day what people are paying for. It's basic that it starts with you. Of course it starts with you. But it actually starts from within you. It starts from the confidence and pushing away the negative voices, being so focused, so focused on what it is you're looking to accomplish that you ignore everything else. You ignore those voices, you ignore the doubters, you ignore the whispers, you ignore the people who are giving you those glances of like, what are you talking about? Because you're really, really focused on that amazing outcome that you're looking to do. And here's a second place where leaders fail. You don't take the time to actually share what that is because you're worried about the looks, you're worried about people thinking you're crazy, or that you're gonna lose the people who make you money. And so you have it, right? Maybe within you, you have the confidence, and you have the desire, and you have the drive, and then you don't share it. You're not really putting it all out there, and you're not really attracting the right people, and you're getting mediocre people, right? They come in thinking that they're signing up for something because you haven't taken the time to be direct with them to say, this is what we're doing, and this is where we're going. Your company and your team needs you to be the leader that they deserve. And so if you look at your skill sets, 
and you look at the things that you suck at, to be the leader that you need to be, you need to quickly give away the stuff that you suck at and give it to someone who's amazing, someone who's better than you. You can't have an ego in this. You gotta give it to them. And then you need to spend all day, every day, tripling down on the things that make you great at what it is you do. So for me, as good as I am with people when they're sitting in front of me, I am not a systems person. You know, like it is really hard for me to do the same thing at the same time every month and to follow up with people and to chase them. And it took me maybe nine months before I finally got up the courage and made the investment to hire someone to be the team leader, to put Louie on my team from a mid-level role to being the COO of the company because he is passionate about people and he cares. And so, you know what? When it comes to people and process, the very things that make up the foundation of operations, I'm not good at that. I'm much more interested in other things and excited by other things. And so the idea of spending all day on people and process just isn't my thing, but it's his thing. And so if I had to be top dog, if I had to be the person who was the best at everything, our company would have never gotten anywhere. I believe that you have to hire people who are better than you at their given skill set like so much better at you at their given skill set that it raises the entire operations. And so when I determine that I'm holding my company back because I'm not being the leader I need to be on the people and process side, then eventually, four years later, I actually make the investment I should have made it four years ago. I don't want you to waste time. I don't want you to get held back because either your ego won't let you or you're super worried or you think that you're being a great leader and you're not. Your company has to have the leadership that it deserves. Your team has to have the leadership it deserves and then this spills down to the clients. And it starts with you. But you don't have to do all the work and all of the tasks yourself. But you have to make all the hard calls. You have to make all of the investments. You have to direct the ship. You have to decide that you're gonna put the right people in the right places in order to give the leadership that it needs. That starts with you. It starts with your confidence. It starts with your belief in what you're doing, and it starts with your resilience to not listen to the doubters or the haters or everyone who says that you can't make this happen. Because the truth is, you have everything you need at your fingertips to start. If you want to take your business to the next level by getting stronger at sales, at marketing, at branding, at speaking to people, at understanding your message, your purpose, and everything you need to do to crush it, well then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I release videos every day. Click on the bell icon so that way you can get the videos when they drop or you can check out this video right over here. It will change your life.